Hello guys, this is Rich Rich TV and welcome back to my channel. But if we'll start the devotional guys, I would like to shout out the following personal channel na punta rito at nag-join sa devotional natin the other night. Shout out and God bless to Marabuti TV, Yans TV, Richard's Alive Blog, Seashell Love, Driveway POV, Ana Biar, Devs Bilia, Jenny Ignalig, Heart Ponsalan, Ruby Ann, Ruby Jade, It's Mommy Rose, Samut Sarim Blog, Isa Ratso, Rizim Garcia, Pamilya Lagan Channel, and Team Hagna. Guys, isang maulan na araw pa rin ang in-experience namin dito sa place namin. No? Okay guys, uh, reminding you again sa di ano natin, yung feeding program natin for the street children, mga least fortunate children dito sa ano ni uh, sa division namin na mag-donate naman tayo. No? Uh, shout out sa taga-America at sa taga-Canada na nagbigay at magbigay pa at sa mga, mga magbibigay pa I know for sure God would really bless you sa acto na ginagawa ninyo. Bless the children so God will also bless you. Okay guys, let's now proceed to our devotional. And anyway guys, nakapin yung, ano, yung Jika's number ko dyan. Let's open the Bible to Philippians chapter 4 verses 4 to 9. Okay, still guys, I'm using the devotional study Bible because the words you see is just simplified and itintigan talaga natin. Philippians chapter 4 verses 4 to 9 says, Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Rejoice. Wow, I like this song. No? Uh, Sunday school na ano, kanta. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God which surpass, which transcends all understanding, will guard your heart and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put it into practice, and the God of peace will be with you. Amen and amen. Okay, guys, let's now pray. Lord, thank you that uh, in every day we can rejoice despite the problem. Mahirap talaga, dear God, na mag-rejoice, magkanta, praise and worship sa iyo, especially if we are in the midst of trouble. Lord, we pray na ikaw sana mabigay sa amin ang spirito na ganito na we can still praise in praises unto you and above all to go near you to pray and uh, have meditation despite the problem. Lord, we the world is now in tension because of what happened to the countries uh, na gigira. Lord, ikaw ang manguna po ano yung management mo dito. Lord, Lord I pray na ikaw ang Diyos na sinasamba ng karamihan. Lord, sa amin din, O oh God, kami po yung nababahala kung ano yung mangyari sa amin. That's why, Lord, we pray for our safety. Cover us all the God, your precious blood, against the walls and skins of enemy. Prepare us also, O oh God, for tomorrow's activity, especially Sunday, na makapagsimba kami sa mga respected churches na yun. We must also go night rest later as we sleep, O oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and Amen. Okay, guys, the focus verse we have for this evening is found in Philippians 4, 4, and it says, Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Rejoice. <laughs> rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. So, yan. No? Natutunan ko yan sa ano, mga camps before sa Sunday school din. No? Okay, so the title or devotional for this evening is Thoughts of Joy. In what we kept, a collection of interview by Bill Shapiro, its person tells of a single item 
that holds such importance and joy that he or she would never part with it. This caused me to reflect on the position that mean the most to me and bring me joy. What is a simple 40-year-old recipe card in my mom's handwriting? Another is one of my grandma's pink teacups. Other people may value treasured memories, a compliment that encourages them, a grandchild's giggle, or a special insight they glean from scripture. What we open keep as tossed away in our hearts, thoughts, are things that have brought us great unhappiness, anxiety, hidden but easily retrieved, anger below the surface but ready to strike, resentment silently according to the core of our thoughts. The Apostle Paul addressed a more positive way to think in a letter to the Church of Philippi. He encouraged the people of the church to always rejoice, to be gentle, and to bring everything to God in prayer. Paul's uplifting words on what to think about help us see that it's possible to push out dark thoughts and allow the peace of God to guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. It's when the thoughts that fill up our minds are true, noble, right, pure, lovely, admirable, and praiseworthy, that we kept His peace in our hearts. Amen and Amen. Yes, guys, no? Yung mga words na dumarating sa, ba, sa mga ano natin, sa buhay natin, di talaga natin mapigilan to really keep on thinking about it, but it does not add positivity on us. Sometimes, it bothers us na hindi na tayo makapa, makatulog, but instead, ang Ang encouragement ni Paul dito is to rejoice in the Lord always. And I say, ha, inulit niya pa talaga. And I say again, rejoice for this is the will of God. Ang hirap kaya no, pag mag-rejoice na nasa ano ka, means of the problem ka. But let's try it. Let's try it. Kasi ano nga eh, yan yung, ano, yun yung requirements. No? I also tried it. Pero nagawa ko. <laughs> Kung nagawa ko yun, guys, I know for sure you can also do it with God's, ano, uh, God's leading unto you. Kasi hindi na tayo ang nag ano, eh, na-prepraise. Eh. It was the presence of God in us na na-prepraise sa Kanya. Okay, guys, let's now proceed to the two question. What unwelcome thoughts have stubbornly taken residence in my mind and heart? <laughs> meron, meron. Sa akin, meron talaga. No? Nag-worry lang ako sa sitwasyon kung bakit ganito, ganyan. Uh, na maski sa pagtulog ko, yun na yung panaginipan ko. <laughs> no? But I rebuke it in Jesus' name. No? Na mawala na yung top na yun. Kasi, ano siya eh, hindi natin pigilan na yung mga pumapasok sa... Utak natin will lead to something negative. Kaya, forget the past no? and move forward. Okay, so second question. What's one way I can daily fill up my mind with good things? To think positive, not to think positive. Yeah, I encourage you to read the Bible. Ako sa, uh, mula nung nag-pandemic, I started reading the Bible. May title kasi itong Bible ko, no? So, in every title, hanggang doon lang ako para mamuni-muni ko naman yung words, no? Sa New Testament, narito na ako. Andito na ako sa Acts, no? And then, I'm now in Isaiah, sa ano, sa Old Testament. So, medyo malayo-layo na rin yung ano, no? Uh, this would be the third time na, pag matapos kong basahin ito, third time na mababasa ko ulit yung Bible, the whole of the Bible, no? So, doon ko nilalagay yung ano, yung mind ko. Kasi hindi natin maiwasan na may mga worries talaga. May mga problema talaga ang tarating. Kaya, we, let's feel it. No? Let's fill our mind with something positive, especially na nanggaling kay Lord. Okay guys, let's now pray. Guide our thoughts this day, O oh God, as you hold our hearts and life in your care. Amen and amen. Yes, guys, pag may mga negative thoughts na, 
Let's change our thought. Rebuke it. Okay guys, if you are new to this channel, I would like to ask you to please hit like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Also, you'll be notified na it's already 8 o'clock. It's time for our devotional. Kaya, huwag alihin magpunta rito for the devotional, no? Para malip up naman tayo, no? This is also a way that uh, we will encourage our spirit, no? Encourage us all to be positive and to be with God. God bless us all, guys, because I know God will surely bless us 10 times better. This is again Richard Rich TV. Kita-kita tayo muli tayo sa muli. Paalam!